Well, as expected, first of all, welcome back to the channel. Um, as expected from my last video, I did forget where I planted my beans, so I had to double check that footage, which was a good thing that I did because then I realized I edited most of it and then forgot to upload it and publish it to YouTube. So uh, make sure you check those videos to get the two weeks ago, which was honestly, it's probably gonna be posted the day before this one gets out. So uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our beans and potatoes. This is gonna be a follow-up video for both of those planting videos, I think, rather than splitting everything up. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it and look for our pole beans and bush beans over here in the compost pile area. We'll start there first. So right there you can see in the compost pile we've got some more tea bags and oranges and stuff that we've been eating. Uh, pineapple is almost gone looking. That's pretty cool. But right there it uh, looks like we got one uh, pole bean that came up of the three. I don't see any of the other two pop popping up just yet. Uh, right here we've got the wild geranium I think this is. Uh, let's check. Oh yeah, nice roots. Right there. Uh, Got a bush bean right there, looks pretty good. I uh, got another bush bean right here, that looks pretty good. And looks like we get, uh, that looks like a tomato. Looks like we got a volunteer tomato coming up. Probably toss some tomatoes out here and we got some, uh, some tomatoes coming up. There was another one over here in this corner and then over here by the oranges, maybe a little bit on this side. Let's take a look under those oranges just to make sure that those orange peels haven't covered it up. Uh, nope, now I'm not seeing another Another one over here. Uh, those Cara Cara oranges are really good. Awesome juicing orange. So let's go ahead and check next to the bananas as we are you know, putting some of the, the pole beans next to bananas to see just what happens. And it looks like right here, um, I'm not sure if that's a deformed leaf or if a bunny rabbit got me, but it looks like that one is starting to come up. And there's another one that we planted over here on this side. I do not see that one coming up. Hmm. All right, let's check the other bananas. Let's see, you're over here on this side. Put one in here. I'm um, not seeing anything right there just yet. And over here, oh, yep, there's one. And yeah, that looks like some bunny damage right there. I'll have to take a look at that guy, see if I can find him running out in the yard. Or her, maybe it's her. Uh, so yeah, got one right there. Over here at this pole, I see a bean poking up right there at that pole. I'm going to say I tossed three seeds in there and only one of them popped up and oddly I'm not seeing anything over here, over here by the turmeric, not seeing anything over there by the taro, nothing, oh wait, 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 nope, there's one, there's a bush bean, oh that's looking a little dry, hmm, not too bad, a little dry, not too bad. But at least one of the bush beans came up. So let's take a look over at the other side of the yard and see what we have over here. Let's start right here at the center banana where there was one planted over here on this side. So you got some weeds growing up here. Um, hey, that could be it right there. Could be. That looks a little long and stringy. Who knows what that is? We'll keep an eye on that, see if that's a bean or not. And the other one was planted over here in this area. I'm not seeing anything being like. We have a little banana started though. And the other pole was right here. So if I stand right about here, I don't see anything around the pole, which means that over there, just short of that blue dart, is gonna be another one. Uh, then right there in those leaves, right down here next to this taro and there. I'm not seeing anything in those locations. Then there was one planted up here in this mess, right next to the banana, one of the pole beans was. Hmm. Not seeing anything pole bean looking over on this side. Over here. Uh, again, nothing pole bean looking. I wonder if that has to do with our cooler temperatures. They just haven't germinated yet, or maybe it's because I haven't watered a single time. But over here at this pole, hmm, yep, looks like there is one bean poking up right here. Uh, that could be another one right there. Again, that looks a little skinny, but we'll take a look at it and see. We'll just hold off on pulling it. And around it, that's here. If we do our square, so there's one right there. So that's gonna be a bush bean right there that's looking pretty good 
over here. Should be over here in this area. Not seeing anything. Just double check. There might be a squirrel digging in there. And then there'd be another one with the poles there, here, and here. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I planted it on this side of that ditch or the other. But, oh no, that's where the trailer came through. It left a rut. Not sure where exactly I planted it. Let's take a look at the potato and bean companion planting. So we got some purple potatoes, or the, the blue or whatever you want to call them. I like to call them purple just because I'm different and they look purple, to me anyway. Uh, yeah, a couple of strong plants going there, looking good. And this is going to be a bush bean here. So it looks like the bush beans have definitely grown up a bit bigger. And then I see there's another one right back there by the fence. So we've got a bush bean right here, which means that our guard dinosaur right there, right underneath him, there should be a pole bean. Now, I'm not seeing it just yet. But over here on this bean planting area, there was a, let's see here, I think I put him in front. Oh, hey, that might be him right there. That doesn't look like a bean. That looks like grass. Yeah, that looks like grass. Yeah, that's grass. Okay, there's a bean planted in here, though, and a potato over here, one of the purple potatoes. Nothing purple potato looking, though. Over here, we have our three mounds of the little potato pieces, and I'm not seeing anything. Oh, oh, as I was touching it, there it is right there. There we go. There's one little potato starting to come up. Taking a look over here at the second pile. Um, I'm not feeling anything or seeing anything. But it doesn't... Uh, that feels dry, but not like there's a rotten potato under there. Over here on the third pile. Um, Nope, not seeing or feeling anything. I'm trying to poke up through here yet. We'll keep watching that, maybe get some water. I'm starting to wonder if I've had a watering problem lately because, uh, I don't know, it rained probably last week. I think it rained last week. I don't think I watered though. So the next one's gonna be by our, uh, that poor, poor looking sanguinelli orange. I feel sorry for this guy. Oh, hey, looks like if I'm not mistaken, this is on a sour stock, so that is not going to be a very tasty orange. That does not look like a bean. We'll leave it see what happens. Uh-oh. Found the bean. Yeah, that looks a little dry. So there's one of them. So if I put one there, then it means I put one up over here, which I don't see, and I put one over here, which I, again, don't see. But, oh, you know what? That right there looks like some of these other weeds right here that... I don't know what these things are, but these things are awful. Okay, now let's take a look at the other side where we have the dug holes deep into wood chips. Let's see if there's anything in the wood chips yet. Well, the onions have grown up a little bit here in the area. Uh, down in this hole, I am not seeing anything bean-like. I know I tossed three seeds down in here and jammed them in, into the dirt just a little bit. Hmm. Nope, don't see anything bean-like. Although this grass, Ow, ow, that's not grass. Ooh, I know what that is. That's a piece of, uh, ow. That's a thorn. That's one of those horrible uh, thorny vines that are growing all over, which honestly, they are nice little berries if you can get to them before the birds. Let me see if I can take find another one of them that's not gonna stab me in the hand when I try and pull at it. I'll need to get some uh, gloves out to dig that one out. I hate these vines. It's some of these vines right here. And if you recognize these, if you're in the uh, coastal area, these thorny vines, the big flowers on them. And let me see if I can, those kinds of leaves or like these leaves right here. These thorns are insanely small and sharp and they will stab you. Okay, but let's get back to the bean looking. And some more onions popping up over here. It's kind of cool just to have wild onions or not really wild onions, but, you know, just onions planted randomly everywhere. And over here in this hole, hmm, nope, I'm not seeing anything bean looking just yet. We'll keep waiting. 
Yeah, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you don't, well, just keep on checking back. Maybe you'll like one of my videos later on. I'm sure they'll get more interesting or I'll develop some sort of a personality. But check back in about two more weeks and I'll give you another quick update, a quick walk around of the beans and potatoes to see where they're at. And what I'm really looking forward to is being able to show off the uh, the, the pearl potatoes and doing some recipes with those because I got some good recipes that you got to try out. Thanks for joining me on this little walk around and I'll see you next time.